thick and thin, big and small. You and me can get through it all. Me and you, love is true. Friendship and love and everything too. Families with me. Families with me. Finally, you and me. Sitting and drinking some warm coffee. Love and friendship and family. You and me, family. Hello, Mr. Haverty. We just wanted to call and let you know that we've got your laundry done and ready for you. Flash. Your, your laundry, we've got it all ready for you, sir. Oh, oh, my laundry, yes. Bring that up to the room. Uh, certainly. Uh, I have to ask, sir, there are several rooms in your mansion. Which room do you want us to bring it to? Oh, okay. South wing, third room. Mm -hmm. uh, hallway to the right, fourth mm -hmm. door on the left, up those stairs. As soon as you get to the top of the stairs, sharp right, sharp right. Not a, not a soft right, because that goes to a different hallway. Mm -hmm. Sharp mm -hmm. right, but my room is at the end of that. Okay, it's the one across from the, uh, the alligator music room, correct? Yes, yes, that's the one. Okay. Um, all right, so towels specifically, did you want that in the, the dinosaur egg bowling alley, or? I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I need one in uh, the fourth master bathroom upstairs. The fourth master bathroom, okay. Uh, that's the one yeah. that is next to, that's next to the uh, gorilla infantry, right? Yeah, that's the one. I'm going to need that. Um, stat. <laughs> Of course, of course. I know you've got There's a lot a, going on in your your animal care. Yeah, I have an important business meeting, and I tell you, I am soaking wet and uh, uh, buck freaking naked. <laughs> I tell you, right in oh, front of a no. window too, the oh, window that faces oh. towards the city. Sir, that makes me very uncomfortable. Um, but I well, will if have you leave to it outside. If you leave it outside yes. the door. It's the, I think it's the, the door. I'm sorry, Mr. Haverty. It's the mental image. It, it's, that's what's really getting to me. Um, that being the said, it, my it's, okay, I will have that to you as soon as possible, Mr. <laughs> Haverty. Uh, have a great morning. Okay. Man, your boss makes a dollar, but you make a dime. That's why I work as a freelance mime. I make my own hours. But I, uh, most rely on tips. I don't get that many. Plus, I'm not allowed. To, I'm not. A, I'm not allowed to talk. 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 talk, talk. That kind of sucks. 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 And I gotta wear that stupid makeup. Everyone, please give one more very warm welcome to the amazing Max Foster, everybody. Yes! Yeah. What? Thank you so much. Um, I hope everyone can see. I got a little bit dressed <laughs> up right now. Um, I'm, 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 I'm nervous. <laughs> I've, uh, I've never done stand-up before. <laughs> never in my whole life ever done stand-up. <laughs> so I feel kind of random right now, <laughs> right now, but I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. Should I just go for it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. 
Stop it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you're up, you're up. <sighs> the night that Hurricane Katrina hit the shores of New Orleans and killed a million people. <laughs> 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 really weird um i i didn't really plan for you guys to start laughing already um that was kind of like my honesty part so i think i'm just gonna go <laughs> i'm gonna leave but it was great having you guys please round of applause for me thank you so much <laughs> wait no yes come back who was that <laughs> <laughs> who the hell? I just walked in here. Who the hell just was on the stage? <sighs> okay, all right. So, um, so guys, my name is Maxim Foster. I used to go by Max, but now I go by Maxim because Max is the name of a dog, and Maxim is the name of a sexy women's magazine. Okay, <laughs> so right now, are you listening now? Sexy women's magazine. You don't have to mute it anymore because of the weird gay thing at the beginning with the mask. All right, so I feel like gay men and drunk women are kind of like my demographic, and I need to branch out a bit more. I feel like straight men are kind of like the bridge to that. Yeah, so I'm also named after Maxim De Winter, who is this character from this gorgeous black and white film by Daphne du Maurier. Who cares? My mom loves this film. And man, Maxim De Winter, main character of this film. So he comes on scene and he is sexy, and he's suave and charming, and we have a lot in common. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> And basically, about halfway through this movie, me and my mom find out that Maxim De Winter murdered his ex-wife by sticking a knife in her heart, setting her body on fire, and setting her whole house ablaze. <laughs> and my mom turns to me and she says, you got some big shoes to fill, kid. <laughs> so, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Okay, it's on my bucket list. Um, yeah, I am an English major, which is just code for I'm going to be very unemployed and very gay throughout my 20s. <laughs> my 20s are just a slog, but the second I hit my 30s, man, I'm going to be a public school teacher. <laughs> which is great. That's great, or whatever. It's uh, heroic, whatever. Um, so I also never had to come out to my parents. So uh, win for feminism. I um, I just told my mom I wanted to learn how to play the harp, which is basically the same thing. <laughs> I uh, told my mom, Mom, can I please learn how to play the harp? And she was like, Oh, sure, back it. Oh, how cute. <laughs> We all laughed a little too hard at that, a little bit too hard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom and I love to watch movies together, and she was always supportive of my sexuality. So one time uh, we were watching Titanic, and we were watching it, and she kind of turns to me and she's like, you know, Max, a lot of the girls liked young Leonardo DiCaprio, and some of the boys liked him too, and that's okay. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Did you hear that, Max? Some of the boys liked him too. And I was like, Mom, the ship is sinking. They don't have enough boats. Babies are dying. Can I come out to you in three hours, <laughs> please? So it's a, it's a laptop. Uh, the serial number is four. Seven seven nine 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 two two. Nine nine two two. All right, sounds good to me. So, so? what? Well, it's it's not opening. Word. Word, homie. Now, what's not opening? The, the laptop. No, the oh. Microsoft Word. It's not opening when I'm clicking. So, this is one of those technological things? Um, yeah, I guess one of those. I don't really do.
computers. What? Aren't, I'm just aren't not you too a... techno savvy, you know? I'm a brick and mortar guy. Okay, well, I called you because I need help. Computers. They just consume everyone nowadays. I guess, but I... My husband got an iPhone. Ma'am, can you please just... I... iPhone. He got an iPhone, and now he just plays his Facebook, doesn't talk to me! Well, I'm very sorry to hear that, but I could really use some help. Store. Boom. Computer. I go to the bank. Boom. Computer. <laughs> I go to work, and they're always shoving computers in my face. I'm sorry, could I you just get please... don't started on the TV. You don't have a TV? No. Threw it out in 86. Couldn't stand the people talking all through the night. All through the night? Turn your TV off when you go to sleep. And tell me if I'm wrong. But they put screens on everything. Sure. You can't walk three feet without seeing a screen. Why, why are you telling me because this? Because the screens are taking us further from the light. We need to look up and see the light of day. Okay, well, I have to use my computer to write this paper. <laughs> have to. <laughs> when I was a girl, I wrote my essays with pen and paper, like a normal human mm. person. None of this typing you kids keep talking about. What are you fucking talking about? Computers just don't about? fit into my free-flowing lifestyle, you know? I'm just a bit of a quirky kind of person, and technology just inhibits that, you know? You young people, you young people are just so absorbed in everything. It honestly makes me sick. You know what? Uh, I think I figured it out. I'm just gonna let oh, you go. All right, well, thank you for choosing Best Buy's Geek Squad. Sure Have a thing. great day. That 1950s fucking witch or something? Have you ever wanted to write but not really? Then buy this shitty ass pencil. <laughs>
Was it your father? Did? I know. I know. Dear Mom, <laughs> I wish I could see you. I miss you. Dad sucks. I hate my dad. Honey, I'm home. Oh, oh, hey, Mom. Obviously, but... I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I just like to play pretend. I said hi to you when you came in and you walked right over there and... Do you really feel that way about your father? Yeah. No, you don't. You love your father. Oh. You told me yesterday. Yeah, I actually like him. Wait, you don't even have a tag. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to our first stand-up comic of the evening, Mr. Hayden Hartrick. <laughs> In speaking of being a virgin, I play a game called Magic the Gathering. It's a, it's a tabletop card game. It's a whole lot of fun. If you haven't played it, you definitely would. It will tank your bank account. And I go to tournaments a lot. And, you know, I was at this tournament this one time. And I get my matchup and I go and I sit down and sitting across from me is this girl. She's probably like seven, six or seven years old and her dad. And it's part of my brain. It's like, I start thinking like, this is so wonderful to have one of my hobbies, this immensely fun game, bridge the generational gap and bring a father and a daughter closer together. But then there was the other part of my brain the part that I listen to. So I stand up from that table. I grab my Bant control deck with all those busted Simic cards. You Magic the Gathering players know yeah. what I'm talking about. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I took the deck and I, I beat the shit out of the little girl so I could play a nice, calm game of Magic with her father. The tournament is not the place for that. No, I, I know it's a little hard to tell, but, but uh, I'm a really tall guy. Whoa! <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm about six foot six, in fact, and, and that's enough that everybody notices that you're tall. And it's got its great things. Like there are things I love about being tall, but there are also its downsides. You know, like I can lord my height over everybody I ever meet, but everybody else can see up my nose. <laughs> and people always ask you the same thing as they come up to you and and it's like it's like it's your whole personality they're like how tall are you and i'm like i guess i'm i'm six six and they're like oh my that must be so nice how's the weather up there ha 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 <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> what what do you play basketball or anything and it's like no people like does this flab looks like it plays basketball i'm a fucking film major it's <laughs> <laughs> not what i'm here for yeah, yeah. You know, I've, uh, in case you haven't noticed, I've started painting my nails recently. Because um, I, I really, really enjoy how it makes me feel. Um, it, it gives me a lot of self-confidence and, and I love it. And, you know, my very traditional family doesn't, you know? So, so I was at home a while ago and, you know, I'm, I'm living life, I'm, I'm driving with my grandpa and he just looks over at me and just plain as day, just goes, you know, Hayden, those nails look really bad. And I'm like, well, yeah, of course they look bad. I haven't done them in like two weeks. They're all chipped and stuff. And he's like, no, 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 they just look bad always. <laughs> I'm like, well, thanks for the criticism, I guess. And, and then he looks at me, he's like, you know, is that what your drama friends wear? Do all your drama friends wear nail polish? And it took me 24 hours to realize that was his way of asking if I would <laughs> But, you know, it put a lot of, of the rest of my life into, uh, it, it really put a lot of stuff into perspective because it made me realize why there was such an intense debate five years ago over whether theater people should get married. <laughs> <laughs> Something I realized recently is that, that nobody who watches The Bachelor ever started wanting to watch The Bachelor, right? 
Oh, I hear a TV show. That sounds fun. Never mind. <laughs> um, nobody who watches The Bachelor started wanting to watch The Bachelor. It's like the zombie apocalypse of television, right? <laughs> no, you you start and you start watching it. You're like, oh, I'm just gonna watch it ironically, just have fun with it. But but then you're bit, and and you start looking, and you're like, uh oh, uh oh, I got a little bit of a bite. You know, you're checking Twitter and. And before you know it, it's been a month and you are crying in your room <laughs> because Luke, P, and Hannah aren't going to have their happy ending together. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Everybody, everybody. We have, can I get some applause? We have officially reached the cum joke section of my stand-up <laughs> machine. Yeah. 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 Come, come, come. <laughs> I hate the term premature ejaculation. <laughs> I find it very offensive to me personally because I do a lot of work to make sure that all of my ejaculations are extremely mature. I only ever beat off at the bank or at the office or at my loved one's funerals. And if you ask me, that's pretty damn mature. <laughs> Why, hello there, and welcome. I have an opportunity for you, sir. Wait, really? Why, yes. What is your name, good sir? Oh, uh, my name is uh, Baxton. I've, I've been looking forward to this. I've been putting so many emails into, into, this is the, is this the, 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 the getrichquick.com? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been sending you a lot of emails. And I noticed that you haven't really like responded directly. So it's really nice that you're calling. Yes. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Baxton. We really look forward to having you on with us and being able to help us out in these trying times. Great, great, great. Yeah, so I, uh, how, how does this work? I know, okay. All you're gonna have to do is just enter in your social security number right down below on the dotted line. Of course, oh. on the website browser in the email that we sent you. Right, 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 right. Okay. So, uh, the social security number. That one is the one that you remember so that you can have... I don't know my social security number. Everyone should know their social security number. It is the way that they identify themselves in the United States of America. Ah, okay. Are you saying you do not have a social security number? I'm not saying I don't have one. I just, I don't, I'm going to do all this adulting stuff. I'm only 27. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm just like a drink wine and uh, chillax kind of guy. Well, know? then you should be able to put your social security number on the dotted line of our email. Look, I don't know. This just seems like this might not work out between us. In order uh, to get rich quick, you have to place down a certain amount of money. It, it has a high risk and high reward. Listen, listen, buddy. I, 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 I think we can cut past the voice. I think, we, I think we love each other enough at this point. We can really move on from the whole pretense and just get down to, a, get down to brass tacks. I'll give you my address. Do you want to come over? Yeah. Is, is that a yes? Is, is that a yes? Warning, please evacuate at the nearest exit. Warning, please. Hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> Hey. Hi. You're so funny, Jerry. You're so funny. Jerry. <laughs> You're so funny. Jerry.
You're so funny. No. <laughs> no. Larry. <laughs> use this one. Use this one. Use this one. Here, here, here. Use this one. Here you go. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Jerry! 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 No! No! Jerry! No, stop, Jerry! I'm literally rocking in my shoes, Jerry. <laughs> no, Jerry. no, 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 oh, no, no, Jerry! He's gone. He's gone, dude. Jerry's gone. Jerry's fucking gone, dude. Jerry's, Jerry's gone, man. Jerry's gone. Jerry's gone! Jerry's gone! Jerry's gone! Jerry's gone! Jerry's gone! Okay, welcome back to uh, the, the magic that I'm gathering. It's where I gather cards and we uh, we make some magic. <laughs> hey, okay, so card number one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these cards and we're gonna rank them. This guy, he's red, automatically at the top. Now you're thinking, this guy, he's also red, so he should probably be at the top and you're right. Boom, the tide for first. Uh, we're going right to left this round. Um, this guy's upside bottom, so I don't trust him. He's automatic. You know what? Let's, he's out of there. Okay. Uh, and these two, one's white, one's black. There's a cool duality. Duality and man. So they go... You know what? They're fucking... Yeah, they're all tied for first. And uh, come back next week where we do Yugi. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah! Yeah! I'd love to. Cool. So, you want to come inside? Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, sure. That sounds, that sounds great. Ah, not so fast. Fuck. Shit, you fucking prick. Hey, now, come on, man. I'm just doing my job. You fucking piece of whoa, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is going on here? Sorry, ma'am. I'm Robbie. I'm on Chester duty for today. He just got away from me for a little bit. Chester duty? Fucking Chester duty! In the town of Hedenburg, in accordance with section 1.5.555, it is hereby illegal to have sex with Chester O'Brien. Come on, man. Can't you just pretend that you couldn't find me? Chester, I am just doing my civic- Bro, I will literally give you $500. Uh, Chester, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> illegal? And like, just him? Correct. Why? Where did that come from? It's just the law, ma'am. <laughs> like a full, real law. Punishable by up to three years in federal prison, yes. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go inside. Thank you, though. Um, have a nice night. Wait, no, no. <sighs> Fuck! Man! Sorry, dude. Yeah, fucking... Whatever. It's not your fucking fault. It's... She was cute. Yeah! She was. How, how are the kids? Good. Good. Uh, Julie just won MVP on her soccer team, so... Pretty exciting. Fucking great, man. I think I'm gonna take a smoke break. You good here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good. Alright. <laughs> Alright. All right, Robbie, let's go get milkshakes. All right, welcome back. Everyone, please make some noise for our next comic of the evening. And also my stand-up co-chair, Mr. Clayton Chowman, everybody. Oh, yeah! Woo! 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 Yeah! Woo! yeah. Woo! How y'all doing? <laughs> um, guys, I don't know if y'all know this. Uh, there's a pandemic going on. It's crazy. Woo! <laughs> uh, we're quarantined. There's, I've had a lot of time, uh, and so I've been spending a lot of that time 
on Tinder. Um, <laughs> and it's great. Uh, there's like there's like three people on Tinder, and they all fucking love The Office, baby. Um, <laughs> they are big fans of that show there. Um, but Tinder's been going pretty well for me. I think um, like a national pandemic that's forcing everybody to stay home is exactly what it takes uh, for women to be attracted to me. Um, <laughs> it's going well, and I appreciate it because I, um, I don't necessarily do myself a lot of favors in my love life. Uh, recently, I was dating this girl and early on, I had to talk to her and just say like, hey, can you stop being so mean to me? Uh, <laughs> and her response to that question was, well, what? Do you want me to just be nice to you all the time? <laughs> uh, and I kept dating her for like a year. <laughs> 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 good times, good times. Um, another fun little fact about my love life. Uh, every single woman that I have been with in any capacity has been bisexual, uh, which technically means I'm still a virgin. Um, so that's <laughs> fun. Um, and this is not something... I'm not doing this on purpose. Like I'm not like seeking them out. It's just happening. Uh, like this last girl, I didn't find out until it was too late. Uh, like we were lying in bed, just talking and I was like, ah, so what'd you do yesterday? And she was like, well, I went to the store, ate some pussy. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 I had one girl uh, tell me that she was not attracted to men, just me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so, believe it or not, uh, she doesn't date guys anymore. Um, <laughs> switch things up a little bit. Saying that you're not attracted to men and just me is like saying, like, no, I hate watching sports. I just love disc golf, baby. I'm a real disc golf. Baby. <laughs> I'm also, uh, I'm not good at like rejecting people. Um, recently there was this girl, uh, we had gone on a couple dates um, and it wasn't great. Uh, and she was still texting me a lot and I just couldn't like shut it down. Like I felt like I was being too mean if I did that. And so one, at one point she was texting me and I just said like, hey, how was your day? Um, and she said, my day was great would have been better if I could have sucked your dick. Uh, and so my response to that was, damn, my day also would have been better if I could have sucked my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and she sent me an eye rolling emoji and then blocked me on a green <laughs> um, So, Pro tip, you don't have to reject people, just be yourself. Um, take care of the rest. So, how's the wife? Sure thing, boss. Um, everything okay? Yeah, no, 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 everything's fine. I'm just wondering how your wife is and all of that, you know, uh, what with all of the the things going on these days, uh, things might be dangerous. You know about the the inventory shortage? Oh, I didn't want to bring that up immediately. Listen, okay, there, was, there were extra fries, we had extra bags, right? Right. Extra, oh. yeah. Well, I mean. That's fine. They made for a nice date, right? She liked the fries. 
your wife? I don't know if that softens the blow. So you you stole like three barrels of fries to Very good. Oh. No. Barrels. Not very good. During the coma. I'm not following. I didn't want you to be there. For for the barrel theft, the theft I, of the I fries. I swear to God, she had a great time. Like, I, I'm not worried about, about how it. much your wife cares about your st- barrel and stealing. And I greatly appreciate it. Um, I would I would totally do the same thing for you. You know that, right? But listen, if there comes to be a time, there, this is already the time. This is already the time yeah. where I'm asking you. You win some, you lose some. I lost about 30k in... I guess you lost this one. Yeah, I lost 30k yeah. in fries. And you're gonna have to pay for this. This is coming out of your paycheck. Okay? This is gonna be, like, docked off your pay. Okay. You're not firing me. Well, you no, I'm not... You are firing me? I, I... I want to punish you for what you've done but you know you're our kind of, kind of our best worker oh shit thank you uh, shoot i'm sorry um yeah is like the business or like just the restaurant um i or the, those the, are your house keys the, we're, we're 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 taking your money you, you, no not, not my house keys <laughs> what are you going to are you trying to i r- was I was going to do something with those. Are you planning to rob my house? So we're... You understand. No, I don't understand. This is completely far beyond what I thought was happening. I thought that this was fry theft. Okay. Now you're robbing my house? Don't catch chlamydia. I'm not worried about you and your wife and your relationships. I'm worried about this fry theft you're talking about. Okay. No, this this house theft. Good to speak to you. Where are you going? You're just walking? Huh? Damn thing. Sorry, I would. Hey, you're the um, scat man, right? I saw you online. You are pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I gotta go. Scabbity do what? Holy shit! Scabbity do! Scabbity do! Scat, scat, scabbity do! What's your deal, man? Stop following me! Scabbity do! Scat, 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 scat! Seriously, stop with the fucking scatting! Skeet it a skate! 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 Skeet! Skeet! Skat it! Hey, um, are are you nearby? Look, th- this this guy has been following me, and, and shit is just really weird right now, man. Like like he's been scatting, and, and I can't get it out of my head, and, and he's 
No, I know, you, you have to believe me, please. There's, okay, um, okay, I'll see, I'll see you soon. That was, that was fast. Thank God you're here. I've been so worried. There's this guy, and he's been following me all day, and he just keeps scatting. And I can't get it out of my head, right? I, I, I can't eat, I can't drink, I can't think, I can't sleep. What do I do? Skibbity da ba ba dee da da. Skibbity do ba ba dee da da. Skibbity da. Skibbity da. Skibbity do ba ba da da da. No. You? What do you want from me? Skibbity da ba doo da. Skibbity do 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 do. What? What are you following me for? What did I do to deserve this? Skibbity do. Skibbity do. You do need money? Skibbity do. Food? You homeless? Skibbity do. If you're gonna kill me, can you just do it already? Skibbity do. Is this all you do? You you just sit here and and scat. You just you just skibbity ba ba ba. You just scabbity ba 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 ba. Thank you. Thank you. Skip it up. Skip it up. Skip it up. Skip up. Skip up. Put it in the deep.